The next part you might want to edit is called voiceover. Now we're down to a minute and 22 seconds and when I click over to voiceover, it looks like one long video, but it's only a minute and 22 seconds long. So it's already cut out the other part and we're only seeing the part that we had in blue. So if I want to start from the beginning, the black dot needs to be at the beginning and I could watch the video. If I come to a part of the video that I don't like the way the video explains it, or if I need to put it in my own words because I need to change the vocabulary, I've got younger students to explain it to, or I need to put it in a different language, I can record my own voice. It used to be that if you clicked voice recording, you recorded your voice over the whole thing, and that's not the way it is anymore. But if I click start recording, and then I can be talking and I can see down here where I'm covering up part of the video and I'm not hearing the video. I think when I did it on my own, I was even hearing part of the video. I can click stop recording. I can listen to what I recorded up here. I can put it in the trash can if I want to and then redo it. Now I'm going to grab this black dot and move it back to the beginning. But notice this yellow section stayed yellow. So what would happen if the students were watching this, they would be listening to the video until they got to the yellow. And this yellow portion would be where they would hear my voice only and not hear any of the video in the background. And then when the yellow ended, they go back to hearing whatever's on the video and listen to it to the end. So that's called voiceover. And over here on the right was the place I just clicked start recording and end recording. I could do it again. I can click further in and start recording again and record my voice again and stop. And so I can do it more than once.